That's because diaculture has conditioned us. Ah, it's the evil diaculture boogeyman. Oh, it's everywhere. It's under your bed. It's under the Doritos. It's coming for you. So this is at We're Not Waiting. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I get the pun. W-E-R-E. So you can't do we are. You can't do the apostrophe because it's an at. At We're Not Waiting. But wait is spelled like body weight, like W-E-I-G-H-T-I-N-G. You keep using the word. Okay. I don't know think it means what you think it means. So at We're Not Waiting. When a pair of shoes is to, what is this? What's going on with this picture? This looks like Shel Silverstein interrupted Jackson Pollock and was like, can I borrow a splooge? Can I borrow a splooge? Doesn't it look like? It looks like a Shel Silverstein, Jackson Pollock collab. When a pair of shoes is too small, we just try a bigger pair. Can we keep the same energy with pants? I didn't know they stacked shit that high. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, what the fuck does that mean? When a pair of shoes is too small, we just try a bigger pair. Can we keep the same energy with pants? When a pair of pants is too small, can we just try a bigger pair? Okay. Your shoe size doesn't change your waist and your pants size certainly can. You How about this? You know you're too fucking fat when you make a post like this. If you write a post like this, you know you're too fat. That's when you know, you, there's not even a question. You know you're a fatty McFatterson if this is what you write. Jesus Christ. When a pair of shoes is too small, we just try a bigger pair. Can we keep the same energy? I didn't know there was an energy. Does anyone have shoe shopping energy? Is that a thing? Maybe ladies, maybe that is a thing. Is, is that a thing? Is that something? I got that shoe shopping energy, girl. Can we just try a bigger pair? Can we keep the same energy with pants? Hmm, these pants are too small. All right, let me get a bigger one. You mean the same nonchalant? Your shoe size is directly related to your diabetes. Well, you wear a size 11. Ho, ho, ho. The beatus is coming for you. This would mean that the bigger the shoe, what, the more obese you are, the bigger the shoe, the more unhealthy you are. I guess if you're like gigantic, like one of those eight foot or nine foot dudes that dies younger because his heart is just, you know, just with those giant humans, Guinness Book of World Record, right? The Ripley's, believe it or not, this guy was 90 feet tall. When a pair of shoes is just it's too small. I mean, if you're trying a different size, okay, a size nine or nine and a half, or you're a ten and a ten and a half, and some, you know, when I when I get sand when I get sandals, I wear a nine and a half because I don't like that little extra flap of sandal flopping on the back of my heel. Like a doorstop. Okay, so maybe you wear a nine and a flip flop because you're a badass. You're living on the edge, on the edge of a sandal. You just don't like, you want to cut off all the fat, so to speak, right? You run lean on thong sandals. Okay, that's not the same. This is, as Jeremy says, it is in fact not a thing. This is not a thing. Okay. All right. You don't go to the, you don't eat too many cupcakes. And I guess you would probably go up in size if your feet were swollen, but you don't just eat, eat a couple extra donuts a day for a while. And then, oh my God, I wore a size 12 shoe now doesn't happen like unless you break both your feet put them in cast and then you just wear clown shoes that's not what happens with pants that's not what happens yeah your foot can get fatter i get it but still your foot's not going to get as big as your waist will so how much how fat do you have to get for your shoes (laughs) how about this how fat do you have to fucking get so your shoe size increases I mean, you can gain 200 pounds. You might gain a couple size in your shoe, but you gain a lot more in your pants size. So, okie dokie. Can we keep... Oh, there's text here. There's there's text here. It gets fucking worse. Matt Damon. It gets worse. There's an explanation. Let's see. Um, we're not waiting. 
So funny. We don't feel the same amount of shame around shoes not fitting our feet as we do about pants not fitting our body. It's nowhere close to the same thing, Dr. Fuckenstein. It's not the same thing, even close. That's because diet culture has conditioned us. Ah, it's the evil diet culture boogeyman. Oh, it's everywhere. It's under your bed. It's under the Doritos. It's coming for you. That's because diet culture has conditioned us to believe that our pants not fitting is our fault. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't go blaming this on diet culture. Don't pull a Sanjay Gupta on this one. No fucking way. It is your fault. It is your fault. Our pants not fitting is our fault. Whose fault could it possibly be? It's your fucking fault. Believe that our pants are not fitting is our fault and something to be ashamed of. But when we learn that bodies change because they aren't meant to stay the same, buying a pair of pants in a different size doesn't need to make us feel any differently than buying shoes in different size. It absolutely does. If you're buying pants suddenly that are like a few sizes too big, that's not good unless you're making sick fucking games. Unless you're making the most nastiest, sickest, dirtiest, sluttiest type of games. If you're making sick fucking leg gains and you know why things are getting a little tighter. I know when I put on some shorts, I'm like, oh, the feels like my the thighs are a little bit tight on this. I'm like, fuck yeah, they are. Fuck yeah. Slamming some more RDLs and you're gonna get some thick ham hocks. We stay woke, but y'all sleep. Rilla mo, but y'all she. Out in public, she a good girl, but at the crib, she a real free. New throne for the new king. Same kid, not my streets go. Same gang, got the cheat code. I said, stay woke. We in Rilla mo. I said, stay woke. Rilla mo. Stay woke. Rilla mo. I said, stay woke. Rilla mo. Stay woke. Rilla mo. I said, stay woke. Rilla mo. Stay woke. Rilla mo. I said, stay woke. Rilla mo. Stay woke. Cause you're a bunch of clowns You will not get a laugh out of me You can talk but you can't denounce I live a different theology Why I transfer to a new account You just fucked over a prodigy Posted up with a rented crown You are the king of the apology You about to see a new side of me I hope you know We stand up